never use your mouse when building UIs in Roblox Studio. And I'm going to be going through why in this video, so watch, please. Uh, I don't know. Uh, thank you? So let's say you clicked on this UI and then you said, oh, let's create a screen UI. Oh, I'm doing great. Okay. Frame. <gasps> I want to put this frame in the middle. Let's do that. <gasps> okay. We're, we're, we're popping off. We're, we're doing it. Ah, oh, and you sold the bag. Why? Why does it look fine here, but not here? Because Roblox has a really weird system. It uses UDIM 2s. You can see here, down here, hold on, let me just zoom in real quick. You can see right here that it is, wait, <laughs> you can see this scale is 0.451, not 0.5, because 0.5 would be 50%. So what if we made that 0.5? Oh, it moved over. Okay, let's go ahead and make this also 0.5. Alright, that does not look right. Oh boy, that does not look right. But this point, this corner right here is in the direct center. That's because the that's where the anchor point is. So if we were to change the anchor point to 0 0.5, 0 0.5, you can see that now it is in the center. What a great guy. We love a centered queen. I cannot believe I just said that. Okay, so what do I do from here? Well, let's explain why and why... 0.5 and not 50. The way that I see it is that there is a scale, and a scale is pretty much just a multiplier. And there's an offset. And the offset, let's just say I wanted to offset this by 50 pixels. Boop! <gasps> it did it. So now if I were to do this, it would be exactly 50 pixels off from the center. That makes sense. What about negative 50? Oh, it's negative 50. It's negative 50 pixels off from the center. It's a multiplier from the container that it's in. So 0.5 would be the width of this, the width of whatever container it's in, for this one being the screen GUI, <coughs> and then it's multiplied by this scale. So if I multiplied by 0.5, that would be half of the screen. <coughs> Same thing with this anchor point. <coughs> what if I made it 2? <gasps> it's 1. It goes back to 1. What about negative 2? zero because it can only go from this edge to this edge let's just make it 0.5 again <coughs> what if i wanted to put it over here and maybe make it have a little bit of an offset so let's delete this frame and start all over again create a frame and let's go ahead and make it 100 percent of the thing along the x-axis and 50 percent along the y-axis so you can see it's right here and that's in the center, but why isn't why can't I see it? Well that's because the anchor point is right here and it's not really in the center. So let's make it one because that is one one hundred percent of the thing here. And comma and then well let's just keep it at zero. But it's still not centered along the y axis. So let's make the y axis of that point five. There we go. <coughs> what about an offset? If I wanted padding, maybe I don't want this to be completely connected to this side over here. Let's do that. Let's say you wanted it offset by 10 pixels. Oop, wrong way. Negative 10 pixels. Perfect. Now that you're a professional, let's see what you know. If I wanted to place this frame down here directly in the center right here, how would I do that? So first, I'm not going to do the anchor point yet, and let's just make the position what I think it should be. There we go. That's why you should never use your mouse. 